Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're looking at a new case. This is the Height Y40 off the back of the success of the Y60, a much more fish tank appearance case. They've launched a new one, which is a little bit more subtle and I'm very keen to check this out. They're available in four different colors. You've got black, white. There's also a red and black, which was one was I was really debating it, but I ended up settling for a white and black in this one. There's also now a snowed out kind of all white as well, if you're going for a real super white clean aesthetic. So I'm gonna unbox this and tell you all about it. So on the side, there's a little bit actually about why they made it. it even says about the low key fish tank vibe, whereas the Y60 was obviously meant to look like that more from the get-go. A couple of other things if you want to read it, but I'm just going to get into the box. It's not going to come out because the flaps are stuck in. Get your flaps out. It's a more traditional polystyrene on this rather than the kind of more plasticky that we generally see. And there you have it. Obviously a very squared off design, unlike the Y60, which of course was like 45 degree angles. There's three pieces of glass. You've obviously got the two on this. It gives you a more squared off design. Already from what I'm just seeing from the back and the top, it looks really premium. Um, it's currently about 139 pounds. So it's obviously not the cheapest case, but you're not in the too expensive bracket either. Kind of a nice middle ground. I've just tilted down onto the back. You can see where I got my kind of more premium idea from. Looks very, very nicely done. We've got some cable management tie downs for your IO. So you can work that all the way down the side nicely so you don't have cables showing from each side so it makes things very nice and neat and tidy power supply in the bottom takes up to 224 mil in length so you're talking 1600 watts something like that generally that kind of capacity of the really long ones so that's a really nice thing to see that you can support such high wattages on this case and then the expansion slots on this a little bit different um something that we're not generally used to seeing in an atx case is the half height expansion cards we'll talk more about this in a bit but there's a reason behind using half height or system limitations as well which i'll cover off at the top we do have a pre-installed 120 mil fan um, but that's the biggest that you can support for the rear exhaust to the bottom first you have got two dust filters so there's one accessible from one side and one accessible from the other so they slide out nice designs on those as well a little bit different there's also another pre-installed 120 mil fan that can be up to a 140 if you'd rather so back to the front the tempered glass again is a push pin style we're seeing this on a lot of cases but it's nice and easy and then a nice thick piece of glass as well slight tint in that one so then into the actual belly of the system we have got some more protective packaging now height do things a little bit differently for their graphics card the same goes for the y60 as well you've got riser cable in their cases which means all your graphics cards are going to be vertically mounted rather than traditionally obviously horizontal or if you were to buy a vertical mount kit you can then do it that way now there are a few limitations but you do have a four slot spacing but even vertical mounting should be okay for most scenarios for example this 40 80 strix this is three and a half slots and that will fit no problems at all so you do have quite a lot of space there if you want specifics you've got 94 mil of clearance so that's from the riser cable to then the glass but they do recommend 80 mil or less for better cooling so if i just position that in you can see we've still got loads of space for the glass you have got a maximum of 422 mil so i don't see, think i've seen a cooler that's more than like 350 so you should be fine for most cards so like I mentioned, there are some limitations and the big one being that you can't use full size expansion cards in this case. So if you're looking to maybe add a capture card, you have to make sure it's half height, otherwise it's simply not going to fit. So a little bit of a limitation, especially if anyone wants to do content creation with a system all in one PC. That's just something that this case cannot do. So other features we've got inside, we've got support for up to ATX motherboard. You can do micro ATX and ITX if you'd rather. I don't see why you'd put a small motherboard in a case like this, but you can do it if you need to. On the right hand side, we've got support for up to 220 or 240 mil fans. You can put two of those in there. Or again, you could use it for an AIO if you'd rather. That will pull fresh air from the side as well, and it is filtered. Pre-installed 120 mil fan I mentioned earlier, and that just goes for a simple three pin. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but in there, there's the 120 mil fan that's blowing air upwards. Not too sure how helpful that will be in the grand scheme of things. I think intakes from the side might help a little bit more, but we shall see when we do a build in it. Before we go to the back, we'll look at the front because we have got some I.O. on there. So we've got a microphone headphone combi jack, two USB A's, a USB C, which I expect will be USB 3.2 Gen 2. And there's also a power button with LED illumination. So the back also comes off with pop panels. There's a really nice height logo on the back of there, which I like as well. You can see it through the motherboard tray, but of course, once you put your motherboard in, you're not going to be able to see it. So alongside the back being pop pins, you've also got the top, which is also the same thing. 
You can take that off. We've got a nice bit of filtration on there as well. Not like a removable magnetic filter or anything like that, but simple enough to just blow out quite fine anyway. Then on the top, you'll see support for up to 360 mil of radiator. You can, of course, do two 140s if you'd rather, but some nice options available at the top. Nice to see you can put a 360 in the roof, especially for a case of this size. So on the back, we've got a nice lot of tie down points. We've also got a little tray you can take off. So you can put two SSDs on there or one three and a half inch drive. That just slots in place and then screws down. Of course, you can just take it out if you'd rather. If you're using any magnetic things or anything that goes with 3M tape, Corsair Commander springs to mind, you could stick that there instead. Very quirky shapes they use as well. It's quite nice, something a little bit different. As I mentioned, the support for up to two 140s, two 120s on the left-hand side here. There's also some bent parts as well, which means that the cables are gonna stay out of those sections. So great if you're gonna install any fans in there. All of our front panel cables here, the front panel was all one block, so they've taken the leaf out of NZXT's book there and put it all on one, which was really great. Saves all the faff of all the individual pins. There's a three pin for the 120mm fan in the bottom, HD audio, USB 3, and then we've got the Type C port there as well. Accessory box wise, it feels very light. Um, we've just got a few screws, so motherboard, SSD. We've got an included headphone breakout cable, so that three and a half mil combi jack on the front can split into headphone and microphone, which is really nice to see. Generally, you'll see cases that have these on the front, but they don't include the cable, so really good job height. There's also some cable ties and a little adapter to adjust your standoffs. So there we go, guys. That was a quick look at the Height Y40. Let me know what you think about it in the comments box below. Links and things will be in the description box if you want to pick one up. But I think we'll be doing a build on this very soon. We'll probably use maybe the 4080 actually vertical mounted to see what it looks like. Um, I've got some nice coolers and things that have just arrived as well. Also a power supply that we'll see very soon. So we'll probably put all that together, see how that turns out. But stay tuned, get subscribed and ding the bell so you didn't miss that. But I think for this video, that's everything. So let me know any more questions you have in the comments box below and I'll get back to you. Big thank you to Hype for sending this out for me to look at. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.